Patrick Beverly demolished Chris Paul on TV after he lost in Game 7. I know CP3's never won a chip. Pat Bev is trashing the man's entire career. It is important to look at why Pat Bev actually hates Chris Paul because there is a real history there. But first, let's look at what he said and if Pat Bev is actually right. At the end of the video, we will do a quick deep dive on Chris Paul's entire playoff history to see if people are right. Is Chris Paul actually overrated and just a choker? But the first thing Pat Bev talked about is CP's defense basically calling him overrated. He finessed the game to a point where he's he, he gets all the petty calls, all the swipe throughs at the end. He can't guard. He literally can't guard. He can't, he can't guard. What we call a cone. You know what you do with cones? Like when in the summertime, you got a cone. You make a move. What does the cone do? Stay still. Exactly. Yeah. He's a cone. Stop playing, man. I Everybody that right. knows that. Everyone knows that. No, they don't. Dude is now 37 years old. I'm not saying he's the defender he once was, but saying he can't guard, like he's just been some overrated player, is dumb. Let's take any random year from CP3's career. 2015 on the Clippers, for example, this is what he did to his matchup. He limited Steph, was a beast on Kyrie, even better on Tony Parker, Clay, and Russell Westbrook. Doc Rivers once said CP3 is the best defender at point guard he has ever seen, maybe ever ever. What Pat Bev is doing is picking on Chris Paul now that he's almost 40 years old. That is so petty. And what's even worse is Pat Bev knows how damaging this kind of stuff is. In 2019, Russell Westbrook said basically the same thing about Pat Bev. Pat Bev tricked y'all, man, like he played defense. He don't guard nobody, man. Just running around. And that damaged his career. He damaged my career. Like people, uh, coaching staffs and players, fans, they looked at me way different. They looked at me like, you know what? You don't play defense. You can hear how personal Pat Bev took that because one man's opinion hurt his career. Then he goes out and says this about Chris Paul when it's not true. But one thing he can actually say is Chris Paul hasn't been a winner. So they asked him about Chris Paul's legacy and he trashed the man's whole career. And I got the keys to the Lamborghini in order to do the job and I did it and I was healthy, I took care of my body, I did all the small things for me to stay consistent in this league, and I did it for 17 years, I better have some damn numbers, I better have numbers. Over a long period of time, you should get those numbers. Yeah, so basically that he's not an all-time player because anyone would have numbers playing for 17 years, which is a good point, but then J.J. Reddick says the truth. You have to give him credit for lasting that long. You still have to be good enough good. to do it that long, Pat, you know that. You still, have, there's guys that, that do it for two or three years. To do it for 17 years at his level. He hasn't done it for 17 years. He's done it for 15 years. Because he didn't make the playoffs uh, a couple years. Dude, it's all the same. He's just being petty. That's what this is. He has a beef with Chris Paul going back to high school. Pat Bev told a story. The roommates at a big high school camp. Bunch of stars are there. OJ Mayo, LeBron James. Pat Bev guards CP3 and he talks a ton of trash. Locked him down in front of scouts. Then Chris remembered that when they got in the NBA and he gave Bev a hard time. But he's not the only guy who hates Chris Paul. Kenyon Martin once said that players hate Chris because he is a politician and people don't trust politicians. He says one thing to your face, then something else behind your back. Chris was like the president of the players union. He has a good relationship with like the commissioner and team owners. So he's not one of the guys. Chris is viewed as one of the front office. I'm sure teammates blame Chris Chris whenever they got traded. Nick Young actually once said, Chris refused to pass him the ball and it hurt his game. Imagine if CP wanted you off his team. All he would have to do is just not pass it to you. He's got the ball the whole time. But what I hate about Pat Bab trashing Chris Paul now, it was after an embarrassing loss. He's not gonna go on TV the day after he goes like 14 for 14 against the Pelicans. He waits until the worst moment and then goes and kicks him when he's down. Anyone can do that. On the court, he has crossed the line. He elbowed CP in the bubble and got ejected. He shoved Chris after a game when he wasn't looking. A literal cheap shot. Pat Bev is petty and he's bitter. And I think he's just jealous of Chris Paul. Back in that high school camp, he locked him down. Yeah, well, ever since then, CP3 
MVP has been a Hall of Famer. Pat Bev isn't even close to his level. I think he's jealous of his game. He's jealous of the commercials. And that's basically what Matt Barnes said back at Pat Bev. What I want to touch on real quick, RJ, is the disrespect I saw from Pat Beverly earlier today. You know, as, as, as reporters, you know, as part of the media, we have a job to be critical. But I think there's a, a thin line between being critical and disrespecting. And I feel like what Pat Beverly did today to Chris Paul was completely disrespectful and out of the line. And Pat Beverly's talking like he's that guy. You're not that guy. Plain and simple. Chris Paul played terrible this year, and his numbers are still better than your career numbers have ever been. So I just think you have to understand, Chris is a 12-time All-Star. He played terrible. First time, or all defense nine times, seven times first team all defense. He'll be a Hall of Famer. Pat Bev and I were similar type role players. They don't talk about us when we go. They're going to talk about CP3 when he's done. And I just think the disrespect we saw earlier today on the ESPN show need to be checked because he was way out of pocket. Yes, but the one thing that I do agree with Patrick Beverly on is Chris Paul's playoff record. Did you know that the Suns losing to the Mavs by 33 wasn't actually the worst loss in playoff history? It was when New Orleans lost to the Nuggets by 58. Chris Paul was on that team too. He has lost in the second round, the first round, the first round, the second, the first, the second, the second, the first, the first. Finally in the conference finals, back to the second and the first, then the finals, and then this year. It's ugly, but let's examine all of it to see how much was actually Chris Paul's fault. I don't blame him in 2008, the Spurs were defending champs, Chris averaged a double-double. 2009 was that horrible 58-point loss, and Chris was horrible. He was an all-star in the regular season, averaged about 16 points and 41% from the floor. In 2011, the defending champ Lakers beat them. Chris was really good. In 2013 against the Spurs, look, I get that San Antonio was a finals team, but CP was embarrassing. 13 points, 37% from the field. They got swept as a five seed. In 2013, he played well against the Grizz, but people started to wonder if the Clippers could ever actually win. Oh, and Pat Bev will love this. 2014, CP's offense was good. His defense was horrible against Russell Westbrook. The Thunder beat LA in six games. He was injured in 15 and 16. In 2017, the final year of Lob City, CP played well, but they lost in seven. So he goes to Houston, injures his hamstring in 2018, but could not beat the Warriors, who didn't have Kevin Durant in a game seven in 2019. In the bubble, CP was really good. He took OKC to seven games against the Rockets. Then in 2021, blew that 2-0 lead to the Bucks. You cannot win a championship if Chris Paul is your best player. But Patrick Beverly is a troll that needs to shut up about a top three all-time point guard. Who else needs to shut up is Shaq when he's talking about young players. Shaq has a history of disrespecting young NBA players, but this time it went too far when he went again at Devin Booker and Rudy Gobert. I made a whole video about it. Check it out.